So today on the Pinball Workshop, I want to talk about the best screwdriver ever made, especially when it comes to pinball repair. So let's cover that on today's Pinball Workshop video. So today we're talking about the Stanley 6812M all-in-one six-way screwdriver. Look at it in all its glory. Why do I get so excited about this screwdriver? It's because you can almost do an entire shop out with this one single screwdriver. Let me show you how. So first, you have a Phillips number one and a Phillips number two. Uh, so anywhere from those, you know, those 2-56 machine screws that hold, uh, uh, you know, coil stops maybe on a assembly, you've got that. If you need something larger uh, from a, a Phillips headset, uh, you've got that as well. Anyway, up from your, your 832s to even 1032 uh, machine screws, you've got this. The other thing I like about these bolts is, uh, excuse me, these, these kind of kits, is that these are very long tips that actually get very well secured. So there's no uh, what I call like tip movement, uh, you know, with the bits. It, it, it's very, very solid, uh, and I really, really like that. Moving down here, you also, when you take this out, oh, look, it's a nut driver now. So this is going to be your quarter-inch nut driver. So anything that you've got, you know, those 832 lockout uh, nylon uh, nuts, uh, you're going to be able to get those off very quickly. Uh, and I'll show you a cool trick with that later as well. But first, let me across this. This is a um, uh, a chrome plated bar, so this does not, you know, really resist rust. Uh, I've had these things wet and not have gotten rusted yet. But as you see, it very easily fits in this way. And now on this side, I've got my two flat bits. So again, here I've got my uh, uh, my uh, what's this see here, thirteen sixteenth and quarter inch flat uh, screwdriver bits. But also on this side, now I've got my 5 16th nut driver. So again, if I've got larger nuts, if I'm getting those, if I've got posts that maybe go through a play field and I want to hold on the, the nut on one side where maybe I use a, a different type of nut driver or crescent wrench on the other side, I now have this very, very easily in one single tool. I would tell you, I don't get very excited about tools, but this Stanley screwdriver, I have five of these. I keep them everywhere. I keep them in my go bag when I'm working on, we're working with friends on their pinball machines. But this, this is the Pent Ultimate. And here's the great part is, they're not very expensive. Uh, you'll see there's a link down below uh, where you can buy these, I think on Amazon, and they're maybe $6. So you're gonna get six things that you're gonna use across a pinball play field or pinball machine into one tool. And that is great. So. Not a very exciting video, but I will tell you that if you have not bought or purchased one of these Stanley guys before, they are great. Um, huge fan. In fact, I bought one for my dad uh, and my father-in-law, uh, who both work on different types of things, and so far, they're using them as well. So, the Stanley screwdriver. Not very exciting in terms of it just being a screwdriver, but also a nut driver, but it is the best screwdriver for pinball repair. This has been the Pinball Workshop saying, let's go take something else apart today. All right, take care. I almost forgot. I was gonna show you something cool about this. So, as you will see if you completely take this apart, is that you have in this barrel, and you will not be able to see this here, but there is a piece that actually separates both sides. If you have a drill press, and you take your drill press and you drill out that stopper between both of these, you'll then now have a nice hollow tube. And the reason why that's great is because if you have a post, let's say you have a post on a machine that, it, that, that needs to go down over the post, and for some reason, you know, these have been too wide, you can't turn. You can actually take one of these, you take your post, and it will fit over the post, allowing you to unscrew it from the play field. So, uh, a little modification to the Stanley tool. I have one of those uh, somewhere around where I've actually taken a drill press to drill out that middle uh, plug there. But that now becomes a great way to remove posts from Playfield and not use tiny, tiny ridges trying to remove posts. So definitely check that out. Buy a couple of these. If you mess one up, that's fine. They're cheap. They're great. Again, get one. They're awesome.